Hi everyone, hello, uh, TJ Emil here. And I just decided to make a quick video to help you guys out. I know you guys are a little bit frustrated staying at home with the whole uh, COVID-19 situation that we have at the moment. And firstly, I'm gonna say, I hope you guys are all healthy and safe and that you guys are with family. And I hope that this whole situation is over soon. But for time being, I just finished off my extra classes, online classes, and I'm always very, open and helpful and supportive to the parents and uh, of my kids that I used to teach like this past year and the year before and whoever asks. So I decided to make this video especially for those who want something extra for their kids to do while they're now sitting at home or not, don't have much to do and what they're waiting for the extra online classes to begin or for school to start to open again. So as you guys can see I'm in my relaxed outfit, I'm about to go to the gym, I just finished my classes, and I just decided to make this video real quick. Okay, so what I have is there are two sites that are very, very helpful and very easy to use. Um, the one is like pretty new, I'm still figuring it out, but the other one, I've been using it for years, doing my extra class one. So I'm just gonna show you guys, I'm just gonna share my screen here. Um, let me see, I guess it's this way and it would be right i'm gonna go under here and go under here okay let's do this one first while well, i cannot go on that one yet okay so the first one is called british council right uh, here and you can just type it in it's for free i'm just figuring it out still but this one has like different levels for everyone for all the kids um from intermediate to um, beginner level, it has for elementary school, upper school, high school, university level, whatever. This one is for kids. And this one has listen and watch. And here you have like different, like short stories. They need to listen to the story. They learn the vocabulary. They need to match it. If they can click on it, like short stories like this quickly. And I can go in. So say we take the first one. Is say a dog's life. And this dog teaches them about safety of the road and things like that. So it has like preparation where like this and you can open it up, play around with it. And they can, if I can share my computer sound with you guys. And if I click on it. Clothes. It's clothes. So they have to click on it like this. They have to find where the clothes is, click it in. And in the end, they can click and they can see how many they got right and they can keep doing it. Okay. And then also after that, it's like step by step. And then there's a video that they need to have the video, they have to watch it, they can listen it, and then they can put it in order. So this is just one of the, of the activities on this, um, on this site, this very helpful site for learning English. So you can go on it, you can play around, and this one I actually used for other students of mine for upper intermediate, the same site. You can see the color chains as it goes for different levels. Then I have another one, which is called ISL, and you'll see it pop up there. ISL Collective, like that. And this is one of my favorite sites because this site is easy, it's free as well. You can register using your Facebook or your Google account, and mine just log in. If I go to login, um, you see, I want to make sure that I'm sharing it, and you guys, okay, all right. So if I go to my um, all right, go back. So I just go to my Facebook, sign in with Facebook. I just click on it. It takes like, depending on how fast your computer is, mine just have many open, but boom, and I'm in. And it's so easy. So here at the top, you see there's ESL worksheets. ESL means English for second language learners, even though we are foreign language learners, but it doesn't matter. ESL PowerPoints, so there are PowerPoints. Video lessons, really cool. We got all these video lessons that you can learn about so many thousands to choose from, and they have to answer questions, they have to listen to so many things. Some very good, some not so good, but you can choose. Um, then, which is the really good part of this one, is that you can actually focus on what you want to learn, the vocabulary, material type, level. Level, say elementary or beginner or student. So it would go there, then you click again, and you go to student type, say we say elementary, change, 
And then all the lessons here will be focused on elementary students, regardless of the, the you can choose which one is good for your kid. So these are just the two that I made just to help you guys out. And for something that can keep them busy, it's fun, it's like really, really helpful for giving the kids that edge and like this pronunciation and everything is in there. So yeah, those are the two that I have, ESL Collective and then British Council, right? This one is for kids. So I hope that this is helpful and that this video can give you guys a little bit of something to do in the time that you guys are at home and a little bit frustrated with the kids not learning. So thank you and hope you guys are safe and healthy and family. Bye-bye.